The Infragistics Excel Library is an API that allows you to create Microsoft Excel files with a very intuitive API that allows you to instantiate workbooks, add worksheets to the workbook, iterate through rows and cells, set values in them, format the cells. You can add formula objects that actually evaluate just like regular Excel formulas. And the best part of all this is that we generate the Excel files from scratch and they're actual Excel files compliant with Microsoft. And Infragistics has known how to do this for many years throughout all of our other platforms and we also have this for Silverlight. The best thing also is that there's absolutely no dependencies on Microsoft Office or Microsoft Excel. Like if any of you out there know what, it's, what it means to write code for Excel automation, um, you know, none of that is going on in our APIs. We just create the Excel files from scratch. And it means that on the machine that you're generating the Excel file, you do not need to have Microsoft Office. Of course, you should have Office if you want to open and edit the file afterwards, but deploying your application without any Excel dependencies is great. So in this example, we have we have the XAM grid bound to some data, and what we're going to do is we're just essentially going to call a method that iterates through the grid rows while at the same time writing the grid cell values to the Excel workbook. So let's check it out. So I'm going to click Export Data, and I'm prompted here. The File Save dialog, so I'll just save this to the desktop. And let's open it up to take a look at what it looks like. And here it is. So here are all my values. I could just scroll through and check out what's in here. And if we were to just take a quick look at the code of how this happens, I'm going to scroll down so we can see the code behind, and I'll load this right up. And what we want to look at is this code block right here. So we essentially instantiate a workbook object, just like you see here. And then you want to add worksheets to the workbook. So in this case, we're just adding one worksheet. And you're supposed to give it a key so that you can uniquely identify it and access it as well. You could also access it through um, the index in the collection of worksheets. And then here's another property that is very useful where we set the current format to a specific type of Excel file where we have 2007 or 2010. So this is variations on what you want the file format to be saved as. A good practice for this would be to expose this functionality to your end users through maybe a drop-down list or some kind of radio button that allows them to let, let basically let them set what format they want. And here are a couple of other options that are accessing the APIs such as freezing some rows. So we're just freezing the top row here, which essentially we're going to elude that it's going to become column headers. And then we're setting some widths here. And then what we're doing is we're essentially iterating through the rows, or the cells actually, of the grid, and we're just setting values from the grid to the current cell. And then essentially we're going to call the save export method which if we go down here let's open it up a little bit more and what's going on is we're getting a save file dialog because we have to use this in Silverlight but if it was Windows Forms or ASP.NET there's different ways of doing this but here in Silverlight you can't just save directly to the file system you have to prompt the end user with the save file dialog and then essentially we're calling the workbook.save method and we're passing in the stream that is given to us by the actual open file dialog. And that's essentially all it takes. That's how it ends up giving me a download prompt or file save dialog prompt. I save it and it's done. So lots of applications out there make use of our Excel library and they're very successful and anyone out there could always use the ability to export their data of any kind, whether it's from a grid, whether it's from a database, into an Excel file for portability. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.